complex food break down into simpler one like our you know walls house walls are made up of what bricks so bricks is a simpler unit and the wall is a complex because it is made up of many bricks got it yeah. is it clear yeah. yes so that's really good so now here you can see we have many nutrients we already discussed about the nutrient learned about the new <laughs> nutrient in the previous class in class 6 we already learned about the nutrients what are nutrients yes what are nutrients seventh a second bench girl seventh a second bench girl yes what are nutrients repeat that give us energy okay you're pretty clear okay i'll tell okay uh, first bench third boy first bench third boy okay that's good so basically we can see there are some ingredients in our food that are required to give us good health or we say or for the development of our body so these are called nutrients like fats carbohydrate proteins vitamins minerals okay so carbohydrate here we can take example of starch that is present in rice potato okay so starch is a complex how it is complex because it is made up of many units or many parts of glucose okay so here you can see we can say maltose that is also a type of carbohydrate only so glucose okay so here you can see starch converted into glucose or maltose that is a simpler structure okay when we digest it means complex carbohydrate break into simpler carbohydrate like we break wall and we get bricks okay similar in that way now proteins proteins break down into amino acids okay so amino acids combine together like this and they make this protein clear now lipids or fats that we get from our butter that we get from our ghee okay so that is broken down into fatty acids and glycerols is it clear is it clear yes yeah. like if we are eating rice so it will not remain as such it will not remain as this structure okay it is not remain like this it will converted into this okay and that is how we get energy because it get broken down na so that is how we get the energy otherwise we will not get energy and in the last class also you learnt about the process how we get the energy because when we have food that food in the presence of oxygen give us energy all this thing or the energy giving process happen in the presence of oxygen okay so now let's move so why do we need to digest why there is a need to digest a food okay so here you can see nutrients from food provide us with the energy and materials we need for work growth and repair okay so that is what so like can we eat whole pizza in a one go oh, no just imagine we are offered with pizza okay and we are we are supposed to eat it in a one go can we do that no what we need to do now here what we need to do here we need to break it into smaller parts so that we can easily eat it isn't it isn't it similarly in our body our body is made up of what our bed our body is made up of what or any living organism is made up of what what are that smaller compartment yes cells cells 
okay and cells are very tiny even we can't see through our naked eye so how can we give that microscopic cell a big chunk we can't give it no. we can't give it it should be very small it should be solubilized so that it can go inside the cell isn't it yes isn't it like if we are taking or we are having pizza we can't have it that much pizza in a one go because our mouth is only this much it can take only this much only okay so similarly if cell is this much so it can take only this much amount of the nutrients or it, this much amount of the food so it should be converted into that amount or you know that size of amount got it is it clear and that's how we get energy because now food is in you know in solubilized form it is in our blood and it is giving us energy in the presence of oxygen and that process is called respiration that you will learn in uh, you know uh, later on in another class so now here you can see so now we just discussed about the cell isn't it so what is in uh, unicellular and multicellular organism do you know are we multicellular or unicellular yes multicellular multicellular why we are multicellular why do we call us multicellular from 7th b from 7th b i want answer 7th b yes why do we call us multicellular yes. because there are many cell present in our body yes there are many cells present in our body and you know sets of cell perform different functions like we have rbc red blood cells white blood cells for the defense for immunity okay we have nerve cells that's why our nervous system is working okay so there are many types of cells in our body that perform different task got it now but there are some organism that are made up of only one cell and those are called unicellular so you already learnt in your class also about the amoeba isn't it yes so amoeba is what unicellular unicellular so what does it mean what does it mean yes it is made up of one cell that's good so let's see the digestion in amoeba okay so please students focus on this and write down few points okay so firstly if we are supposed to eat something what we need to do first step should be what okay suppose this is a food it should go inside my mouth only then digestion will start otherwise not by looking at the food my digestion or your digestion is not going to start so to start the digestion the food should go inside the mouth so here also this is amoeba okay and these are the some organelles that you can see nucleus and here you can see the food particle that is in front of amoeba now first thing you should note down amoeba can change its shape okay amoeba can change its shape now here is the shape that play very important role here when amoeba sends food around itself what amoeba do or amoeba does so amoeba basically start forming this structure like this okay it start forming structure like this that is called pseudopodia and pseudopodia is also called note down false feet it is also called false feet why do it call false feet because this structure is not permanent structure okay okay it is called false feet because it's not a permanent structure okay so it helps amoeba to capture food so here you can see now it is inside the body okay so this is now inside the body now here also 
Now what is happening here? Now food need to be convert into absorbable form. Means body can absorb it. So now inside the food vacuole. Now this is a circular part that you can see. It is called food vacuole. Or you can see a kind of cavity they form where all these digestion process is happening. It's a food vacuole. Okay. So it is happening inside. Now amoeba digest the food. Now amoeba absorbed it. Absorb means get the nutrients from the food. Assimilate it. Assimilate means get energy from it also. Now undigested food that is not required by the amoeba should be expelled out. So here, lastly, it is getting released in this form. Okay. So that is how digestion in amoeba happens. And now because amoeba is a single celled organism and everything is happening inside the cell because it doesn't have separate stomach, separate intestine, anything like this. So in within the cell, where everything is happening, this digestion is also happening. So this type of digestion is called intracellular digestion. So intra means within the cell. Okay. Intra means within a cell. It is happening inside a cell. Note down what is the meaning of intracellular. Within a cell. It is happening within a cell or inside a cell. Got it? Yes. Is it clear, students? What is pseudopodia? Who can say? What is pseudopodia? That's good. That's good. So now let's move. So here you can see we all we all have seen fungus that grows on. Uh, you know, bread, especially in humid environment or we can say in rainy season, okay? So, what does mold does, okay? So, mold, that is a fungus, grow on a bread and what it does, it secretes digestive enzymes, okay? Digestive enzymes means enzymes that break down complex food into simpler ones, okay? When we say digestive means it is related to that only. Complex to simpler. Just remember this. Okay? Complex to simpler. So here, it secrete enzymes on bread. Means outside the body, not inside its body. Here you can see. So excretion of digestive enzymes. Okay? Now digestive enzyme degrade. Degrade means you can say break down complex food into simpler okay now it becomes solubilized now because it is simpler like i told you simple can easily dissolve okay so that's why clear so now here you can see digested food absorbed by hi-fi hi-fi you will learn in higher classes so it's a part of their body only okay or we can say uh it's a it come under structure of fun, uh, fungus okay so it is absorbed by fungus and that is how they perform their digestion now, here everything is outside the body. What kind of digestion fungus is having? Yes? Extracellular. Okay. Earlier we learned intracellular. Fungus is having extracellular digestion. Okay. Because everything is happening outside the body. Now, it's not inside the cell. It's outside the cell. Okay, is it clear? That's good. That's good. Can we say our digestion is also extracellular or is intracellular? What do you think? Okay, raise your hand for the extracellular. If you thought, if you think that it's extracellular, raise your hand. Digestion in our body or in our stomach is extracellular. Raise your hand. Okay. Raise your hand if you believe it is intracellular. I can see many students didn't raise hand for either for the intra or extra. What do you believe then? What kind of digestion we are having if we, we, if we don't have extra and intra? So what is the third? I Because I am not aware of the third one. So I want to know from you. 
if there is no extracellular and intracellular what is the third term for the digestion do tell me yes seventh beef first bench girls tell me you didn't raise hand for the intra and extra so what is the third term for the digestion or either you don't know students yes yes firstly we can say that students just now focus on this okay here you can see this is our stomach isn't it this is our stomach but if you notice that our stomach is basically cavity isn't it it's just like a pouch or a bag yes yes so now just imagine if we are having a bag okay this is a bag that you are having or purse anything pouch okay we can say our pouch is made up of a uh, cloth plastic rubber silicon now there's many other things are there in the market so it is made up of this but you can put pencils stationary items in that pouch isn't it yes now compare it with the stomach stomach is made up of some cells okay it is made up of cells but inside that wall it's empty that is called cavity okay so this whole thing that you can see here it's a cavity only and digestion happens inside this cavity okay not inside the cell cells made only this wall cells made this wall of the stomach okay it's happening inside the walls of the stomach clear now here you can see food is here and now digestive juice that we need for the digestion is coming from the cells are here in the wall okay so that secrete that juice is it clear so our digestion is what it is outside the cell it's not inside the cell cells are here in the wall they make this wall got it yes right now just imagine you are inside the room you are not on the wall walls are around you isn't it wall is around you but you are not on the wall you are inside the that cavity that is your room classroom got it is it clear why it is extra cellular is it clear students yes okay that's good so now let's move so now as our food journey starts from the intake of the food what we call it there are specific terms that we call it write down these five uh, steps first is ingestion yes first is ingestion ingestion means intake of food okay as we take what we do we chew the food we break it down that you can itself see when you take a bite what do you, what do you do you chew the food yes so breakdown of insoluble substances into soluble one that is in higher level happens in our stomach also and intestine absorption so why do we need to break down food because we need to it get absorbed in our body through blood okay so third is absorption now why do we need all these things why do we eat food to get energy yes isn't it so your cells are using that food or those nutrients for repair for maintenance for energy many things okay lastly the food that our body now don't need unwanted undigested food that should be expelled out so that is fifth step 
ejection so basically our hand is having five fingers our digestive system is having five steps ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and ejection got it is it clear okay i hope you have noted down yes yes so now simple question that is i am going to ask why do we chew the food why shouldn't we swallow it as as such because our stomach is also going to break it down now so why there is a need to chew the food yes why there is a need to chew the food it can mix with the saliva that's good so basically sit down beta so basically a uh, okay so basically if we are having this much of food and we put it inside our mouth it get break down into smaller pieces so smaller pieces so that means it is more exposed to the saliva yes if it break if we break it into smaller pieces what is going to happen earlier you will learn in higher class also the surface area in your maths also okay so here we can say the role of surface area is here so if this is the original food okay that we took the bite so here surface area is less exposed okay now saliva act on these borders only okay now if we break it into smaller pieces what is going to happen now more area is exposed to the saliva isn't it so more area is exposed to the saliva what does it mean what does it mean means it can easily mix with the saliva or the enzymes that are present in saliva can easily break it down into further okay just imagine you have coconut do you eat coconut coconut is good for our health okay so can we eat as such whole it is hard to eat it is really very hard to eat but if we break it into smaller what happens it is easy to break down isn't it like if we are having this much coconut we can't have it even the this bit big piece we can't have it but if we break it into smaller one it is easy to break for us isn't it so same thing now it is easy to get digested or break down by our enzymes okay so that's the reason so now student take out your uh, assignments with you okay so first is digestion is show me the fingers only okay one for a two for b c uh, three for c and d for uh, four for d okay so first question digestion is breakdown of complex macromolecules by addition of oxygen breakdown of complex macromolecules by the addition of water breakdown of complex macromolecules by addition of nitrogen making of complex macromolecules by addition of oxygen so show me the fingers fast we already learned digestion is what okay i can see yes 7th b what's your answer okay one okay that's good yes it's a complex to simpler firstly digestion definition is words complex to simpler breakdown but in the presence of what oxygen as i told you many times okay second question the enzymes present in the saliva convert dash so in the beginning of the session we learned okay 
fats into fatty acids and glycerol starch into simple sugars proteins into amino acid or complex sugars into simple sugars from seventh a i can see many hands seventh b okay yes it starch into simple sugars digestion of carbohydrate start from the mouth okay so starch that is a complex carbohydrate converted into simpler one now third proteins on digestion produces glucose amino acid fatty acids or all of the above that's good i can see many hands are raised that's good yes it's amino acids that's good b fourth rice tastes sweeter when chewed because saliva adds sugars in rice bacteria release sugars in mouth the starch of rice is changed into glucose or d none of the above that is what we just discussed also yes what's your answer show me the fingers okay third okay so yes starch of rice rice is having starch so starch is complex carbohydrate converted into glucose and glucose is sweeter in taste okay so see now fifth digestion in amoeba occurs in the food vacuole in the pseudopodia outside their body or in the nucleus raise your hand uh, raise show me your finger not in the nucleus not in the nucleus in nucleus they have their genetic material that is dna if if you remember there was a circular structure if this is amoeba inside they have circular structure i told you that is like cavity food vacuole food vacuole where digestion happens so it's a now coming to six assertion digestion is a chemical process reason complex food is changed into simpler food yes 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 what's your answer yes assertion is right digestion is a chemical process because complex food like i told you many times complex food is converted into simpler yes okay seventh assertion in humans there occurs intracellular digestion reason digestion in human occurs in lumen or space of stomach do we have intracellular digestion no so re assertion is right or wrong no so assertion is wrong and reason is digestion in human occurs in lumen or space of stomach no. yes okay so now eight last question assertion bread mold is saprophytic fungus reason the digestion is extracellular in bread mold fungus so we learned about fungus they grow on bread they secrete digestive juice so both are true yes so that's good student now your math class is going to start okay
गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू सो स्टूडेंट्स सो टूडे वी आर प्लीज जल्दी से बैठो बच्चा जल्दी से हाँ जी स्टूडेंट्स तो आज हम एक नया चैप्टर शुरू कर रहे हैं बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग चैप्टर राइट वट इज दिस फ्रैक्शन कौन बताएगा फ्रैक्शन क्या होते हैं चलो मैं पूछ लेता हूं किसी से हाँ जी हर्ष कुमार सेवन ए हर्ष कुमार सेवन ए बताइए बेटा हाँ और फ्रैक्शन ऑफ ए होल नंबर एंड नो योर वॉइस इज नॉट क्लियर पुत्र चलो कोई बात नहीं लीव इट सेक्शन बी से कोई बताइए बेटा कौन बताएगा फ्रंट बेंच वाले कोई बता दो जरा यस फ्रंट बेंचर सेवन बी वट इज फ्रैक्शन बेटा मैं फ्रंट बेंच पे जो सिदार जी बैठे हैं बेटा आप बताइए जरा खड़े हो जाइए एक ही है बेटा एक ही है फ्रंट बेंच पे एक ही बच्चा है हाँ जी फ्रैक्शन आर टू नंबर्स विच आर डिवाइडिंग ओके नहीं बेटा दिस इज दिस इज नॉट द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट सी वट इज फ्रैक्शन फ्रैक्शन को अंडरस्टैंड करने से पहले हम कुछ एक दो एग्जाम्पल देखते हैं जी राइट right? ये देखिए बच्चे क्या है ये वट इज दिस पिज्जा सबके मुंह में पानी आ रहा है देख के 